Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as my video from last night because it is still last night for me, although it is Tuesday for you. I thought I would film this real quick because I'm going to have a crazy day tomorrow. I had to pick Chomps up from school today because he um, got became sick to his tummy a bit in the classroom and they sent him home and they said sorry because he's had that type of sickness he's not coming back for 24 hours I already marked him out for tomorrow see you later so poor Chomps has to stay home tomorrow although he's been feeling fine it seemed like it was just a moment of upsetness anyway I don't know I'm blabbering about that we got things to do and they are yarny goodness things I was hoping to open some hand dyed yarn for you today this is not the package that I thought was arriving today, but I am so excited it came. So we're going to open it. Um, I also have day four of our Ellie Leva stitch marker of the day. And it is... Oh! Ho, ho, ho. This is... Oh, Bingo is going to love this one. It's a rainbow with a cloud and a pot of gold. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. I love it. It's perfect. Thank you, Ellie. Oh, this is perfect. This was her um, St. Patrick's Day set. I picked it up late from the post office, but we're having fun and opening it anyway. Yes, because her stitch markers are always fabulous. She announced on her community tab she has her Easter stitch markers available if you are interested. Check them out. Oh, I forgot to tag her on the video last night. It's uploading right now. Okay, hopefully I'll, I'll remember to go in and edit it. Um, anyway, what is in this package? I was lucky enough to nab one of Angela from my precious yarnery's spring bags. I think, I think she might have called it a box in a bag. Doesn't matter. It's awesomeness. So this is yarn that she dyed herself and then... She said there would be some other goodies in it. Her boxes are always fabulous. I'm always so excited when I'm able to get one. You were able to pick your yarn weight, and I chose DK, but I told her, whatever you sent me is fine. I don't care. <laughs> but I think um, Tom said she put aside some DK for me. So let's see. It came in this great organza bag that I'm going to keep to store maybe even this yarn in <laughs> and then what else do we okay so we got this envelope here let's open this one first there's a couple of different baggies here there's a bunch of different baggies I don't know which one to do first we do this one. Oh, this one might have been the right one. I think I see a card in here. Oh, it is her stitch markers. Perfection. Okay, so uh, my precious yarnery made with love. We are winging it here, aren't we all? <laughs> Miss Kitty, I really love your channel. You always make me smile, as do you, Miss Angela. Thank you for your support. Hope you enjoy your bag, Angela. Of course I will. I'm going to love it. Let's see what stitch markers she sent. Ooh, there is. That's really pretty. Angela, you do amazing stitch markers. There's this beautiful butterfly. Look at that black and white butterfly. And then I... Oh, you know what's funny? Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is a fairy. I had... A necklace that I wore almost every day throughout high school with a charm that is eerily similar to that fairy charm. Oh my gosh, that's a blast from the past. And then this is a, it's a, it's butterfly wings. Oh, I think that's actually a butter. Oh, I think it is a dragonfly, but I was looking at it orientated wrong. So there you go. I think that's a dragonfly. And dragonflies are amazing. Can you see, is it going to focus? My face is not there. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, oh, Angela, those are perfection. 
I love them. Okay. And then she sent <laughs> some treats. Oh, Angela. It's a Nescafe, sweet and creamy. And instant coffee, which is perfect. Oh, yes, a Tim Hortons Earl Grey. I love these. And then, yes, a coffee crisp. She is my coffee crisp dealer. I love it. Oh, man. Okay, and then there is a zipper pouch as well. And I don't know what to do with all the goodies, Angela. You're spoiling me. Okay, let's see what's in the zipper pouch. Just perfect size for a notions pouch. It is, oh nice, a mini smiley diary. Nice little notepad. Perfect. And oh nice. A little mini scissors with a um protector doodad on it. A pen. Always need more pens. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't think, I didn't know what this was at first. It is one of the um, needle threader things that she makes. And it's got two puppies on it, a puppy on either side. I thought it was like, um, a, like a clothespin or a clippy when I first saw it. And then measuring tape, always needing measuring tape. Oh, this is a perfect little notions pouch already. Oh, God, put the pen back in. Yeah. You always have to have a pen with you with your projects. You need stitch markers. There you go. All I need to do is throw in a darning needle, and we are good to go to throw that in a project. Okay. And now we see the yarn. There are two Hanks here. Let's see what they... <gasps> Oh, Angela, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. So they are two the same color. Wait, I, I moved my trash can. I keep trying to throw my trash where the old trash can was. Okay, so it has her label there. And this is called Spring Fling. This is so soft, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is so soft. And it's very beautiful. It's tonal greens and blues. It is so springtime. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, Miss Angela, you are awesome. You are awesome. Oh, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. It's a very spring. It's very soft. I didn't even give you any stats. It's 100% superwash merino, about 200 meters, which is 219 yards, 100 grams, and DK weight is what I got. I think she also had fingering. She might have had worsted too. I don't recall. My, I love DK weight, so DK will usually be my first choice, but fingering is amazing too. You can make a lot with that little itty bitty yarn. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Another absolutely wonderful box. I love these. Definitely check it out. She said she might do a couple of these a year, which would be amazing. Oh, what would you make with it, guys? That's always the question. What would you make? What would you make? I always say cowl. Got to get out of the cowl mode. But I did just find a bunch of really cool cowl patterns. <laughs> on Ravelry that I added to my list. That's okay. We can we can make lots of cowls. I think that would make a beautiful cowl. I think it would. There you go. Yeah. What would you make? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.